What's good, y'all? Shit on my way home. You know me, never getting no damn rest. Time to myself. Shit crazy, ain't it? That's how it be, man, when you got responsibilities and shit. And even if you're winning, or ahead, should I say, you still got to stay ahead. So, you know, no matter how far ahead I am, still gonna have to, I still act like I'm not, man. It's kind of like a gift and a curse. It's kind of like you only live once. But at the same time, you got goals. I'm here to talk to y'all today about rebounds. You know what I mean? And the levels of rebounds. And a lot of people just think a rebound is somebody who um, gets with somebody after a relationship or some shit like that. But it's deeper than that, man. It's way deeper than that. It's not just someone who gets with someone after a relationship. It could be someone you just talking to it could be somebody you never slept with at all it could be just somebody you're talking to you know and this is what people do unfortunately um everybody's scared to just like cleanse themselves and then deal with somebody which is the best way and the correct way because you actually get the full effect of someone you're dealing with but people don't want to do that that's man and woman they go from person to person a lot of times what happens is the person they're dealing with is not acting right so they come to you then that person acts right then they disappear then the person acts wrong again then they come back to you or it could be people it's not always one person it could be people I'll tell you like this man I'm gonna tell y'all like this and you should stand on this shit if a woman or man knows of you and then they decide to go somewhere else and then try to sneak back to you. I mean, you could accept them back if you want, but I wouldn't. Especially if they really knew knew you existed and especially if they be like acting like they're interested in you and then they drift off, I definitely wouldn't because it's disrespectful. Now, if it's somebody who never gave you that that vibe, but that vibe of, you know, like trying to play with your thoughts and emotions saying that they really liked you or you know in, really interested then you really can't hold that against them but people who have gotta hold that against them man because they basically lied to you and lying is the same as cheating and stealing it's the same category to me but um you gotta understand that a lot of people are scared to be alone so basically almost everybody is somebody's rebound like, if you really look around the globe, people hooking up, getting with each other, relationships or whatever, a lot of times you're just a rebound because most people, this is why you're, most people are usually just rebounds, because most people aren't willing to cleanse themselves. They're not willing to take time to themselves and away from the line light to become a better person and, and to get free of whoever they've been talking to. It could be multiple people. Since they're not willing to do that, you're basically just getting with someone. You're you're inheriting someone else's shit, basically. You're you're inher you're inheriting someone else's woman or man, basically. If that woman or man did not cleanse themselves, meaning take time to themselves to really try to change and really love themselves, you're basically just getting someone else's uh, girlfriend or boyfriend. Because they still got some type of connection or ties to that person. Now, a lot of y'all going to think, a lot of women especially going to think that this ain't true with men. E yes, it is. Even if a man is sleeping around, sleep around, it's still true. And, it's, and the reason is because he might not like the women that he's sleeping around with, right? But they're still on his mind. Like, oh, how she sucks my dick or this or that. And he's dealing with you too, but he's still thinking about that woman. So it might not be no love bond, you know what I mean? But there's still a bond there, and that's a problem. This is why a lot of men can't just deal with one woman. And women wonder why. Why can't he just be happy with one woman? 
because he's still bonded. He still got bond or ties. Y'all want to call it whatever you want with this one or that one or that one. And then he came, he met you, but he's still dealing with them too. That's still in his mind. How that woman gives him head or something. It's still in his mind. So it doesn't matter if a motherfucker's married or single and just dealing with people. It's the same thing. It still rebounds. It's just on different levels. And almost everybody's a rebound to somebody. Unless you really get with somebody who has really been okay with being by themselves for the most part. That's the only way. There is no other way. And another thing, a lot of people can't even feel your full effect of how you really make them feel unless they do this. In other words... A woman might really think I'm the best shit ever, right? But she can't feel it or really see it like that. Even if she see it, let's just say she see it, but she really can't feel it, right? Because she's she's in her feelings with him and him and him or, or just another guy or something. So the effects of that is not the same. That woman really has to get rid of that bullshit over there first, right? The feelings and shit. And then... She'd be like, man, you could feel the, you could really feel the effect of dealing with the other person. But when you don't do that, they, they could be a perfect person. And you wonder, well, why don't I like somebody more than him? Why do I only like him? Why doesn't anybody else compare to him or her? You ever see people do that a lot with their exes? Why don't somebody compare to this one or that one? That's why. Because you have to cleanse first. It's not that people don't compare to your exes. Or somebody you can't get over because, or whatever, somebody you've been dealing with for a while, you got to get over that connection first, that, that, um, that tie. You know, you call it connection, you could call it a tie, you call it whatever the fuck you want. You know what I mean? Attachment, you call it whatever you want. You got to get over that first, right? You got to take time to cleanse. So the same thing with a man, if he's not taking time to cleanse from the woman who he likes getting head from or something, then he's going to still deal with them women too. And you. Because he really didn't break away from that woman yet. Doesn't matter if he loves the woman or trying to be with the woman or not. It don't matter. In other words, it doesn't matter if a man's trying to love or not. He could be just a man out here just hooking up with women. He's not going to be able to bond, pair bond with you on a level of just you. If he's dealing with other women too. Because in his mind, they sex is on his mind too. They're on his mind too. This is how it works. This is how it works. You can't really pair bond, truly pair bond with somebody unless they're willing to basically just trying to, ex unless they really are willing to just try to explore one person at a time. There is no other way. You could, if you want to explore five people because you scare one, you're going to lose one or something, you're just going to be confused. You're going to be a confused individual. And nobody want to hear that because everybody want to do it the other way. Everybody want to talk to this one or that one and this one or that one. And that's fine That's if that's what you want to do. But I'm telling you why you can't be completely satisfied with just one person. And that goes for man or woman, love or just sex and kicking it. It don't matter whatever one. You're not going to be satisfied because of that. Because you're talking to different people and you never cleanse yourself enough to just deal with one person. Or be able to receive the reciprocations. Let me put it better to you like this. Maybe this could help with a lot of women not understanding how what what this man shit is. Let's say I'm a man that just want to work and just chill and not chase a bunch of women. Right? And then let's just say there's another guy that does want to chase a bunch of women and shit. Who do you think? And let's just say we both ended up finding some great woman. Right? Who do you think is going to really appreciate it more and reciprocate it more and, and feel like the woman's more, uh, feel like the woman's special more? The guy that's dealing with multiple women or the guy that just chose to just live his life until he runs into the right woman? This is not rocket science, people. This is not rocket science. And for you men, these women who talk to multiple men or a woman who is just chilling until she runs into the right guy, right? Or a guy that she like, whatever. Who do you think is going to appreciate the guy more? The ones that's talking to a bunch of men or the ones that's just chilling until she finds one that she actually want to just try to be exclusive with? Who do you think going to appreciate more? This is not rocket science, man. 
The ones that got multiple men, you're just a rebound. That's all you are. You're just a rebound. Placeholder, rebound, it's all the same shit. Y'all coming up with 30,000 different names for the same fucking shit, just different ways to describe it. That's the whole point of this video. Rebounds can be described in different ways, and you could be a rebound in different ways. There's no one way, right? But it is what it is, man. Y'all wonder why don't they just want one woman or one man? Why can't I find this? That's why, because they, the person you're dealing with wasn't willing to cleanse themselves. They wasn't willing to step back from the limelight and step back from people and just try to deal with one person. And a lot of people are going to say, well, I don't do that because what if I miss out on something good or whatever the fuck? If I deal with this one and then um, it don't work with him or her, and what about the people I pass up on? Well, then the one that you're dealing with ain't good enough then, obviously, because you wouldn't give a fuck. Let me break that down. If I find a woman that I really like, right, and I decide to explore her and it's be exclusive with her, I don't give a fuck about whoever else I pass up at that time. If I did, then that woman that I'm dealing with, then it must not be as real as what you're claiming, because why would you give a fuck, Right. Even if I dealt with that woman and she played me, you know what I mean? I know what you're thinking. Well, they played you and you're going to think about, well, what about them other women that you passed up on? They was good too. Don't matter because that woman that I was dealing with at that time was the one that I thought was better than everybody else. So it don't matter. It was worth the risk to pass up on them. If that woman wasn't so-called so good, then why am I dealing with her in the first place? I don't understand why people are holding on to people that ain't good to them. If you don't think this person, if you're dealing with somebody who still makes you want to talk to other people, right? Then why are you holding on to them? That Let me, let me say that again. If I'm dealing with a woman or women, right? And I still want to talk to other women. Why am I even holding on to them? Unless I'm trying to be a player or just get benefits out of people. But if I'm trying to find something real, why the fuck am I holding on to people who still who, who haven't made me feel like I still need to search for something? Haven't made me feel that way. It don't make sense, man. Unless I'm trying to be a player and shit like that. But I'm trying to talk to the people who's not trying to be that. And so they can avoid being rebounds. You got to look at the person, you know. A lot of females think that if I be this woman, that's why he ain't found the right woman to make him want to stop talking to women and shit. That's not why. It's because he don't want to. I don't give a fuck what you say. You know, you could it, whatever you want. You want to take that pride? Go ahead, have at it. But me, even though I feel like I'm the best man on earth, right? I feel like I'm the best. I'm not dumb, though. I know that I can't make a woman not. I can't just meet a woman one day and she's, oh, I'm just done with every other man on earth. You know, because Tawana's the greatest. What if she even if she thought I was the greatest, like I think I'm the best. You're not going to just meet the woman and all of a sudden I'm just done with all men because I met him. That's not how it works. That woman already moves this way. She's already in her mind thinking I want to be exclusive with a guy. It's not necessarily because she met me and I put her under some voodoo magic and now she don't want to talk to no other man. That's not how it works. The person already got to feel this way. But nobody get this shit. They think that they're going to put some voodoo on a motherfucker and he's just going to stop fucking with women. Not if you don't want to, he ain't not. And I would have this conversation. If I ever had a daughter, I, I promise you this is the conversation I would have. And straight up and down, I would give it to her straight raw. No, no cut, nothing. Because it needs to be said. A lot of people don't want to say it. Everybody like La La Land. Everybody like to be lied to. That's the problem with people. It's a problem with people, man. You know what I mean? If a, if a woman is talking to multiple men, I'm not about to twist her arm or do magic tricks to make her pick me and all this and all that shit. I'm not doing none of that shit. Do what you do. But don't expect me to take you that serious. I know if a woman is exclusive with me because it's like you can't get the woman away. You can't get that woman to stop talking to you. So, you know, if I don't see that, then I know that there's other people and I'm not about to stand in no line for that. And neither should you. 
Now, maybe at first when you starting to try to get to know somebody, you can't really hold them that against them. Right. But a lot of y'all didn't slept with people and moved in with people and everything. And they still doing this shit. And y'all still accepting it. Accepting it. Should I say? Nah, fuck that. The only way I'm going to accept, you know, low type of um, pressure, if you want to call it that, is if we really just kind of like filling each other out type shit. You know what I mean? But if I've known you for a while and all that and you want to do that easy pressure bullshit, bye. Or, you know, I ain't going to leave. I ain't going to be like, bye, but I'm just not going to take you serious. That just means that you're talking to a bunch of other guys. That's all that means. Because I know if a woman is exclusively talking to you, you can't get her off. You can't beat this woman away. She's all on you 24-7. That's just what it is. And don't give me that bullshit. I'm not a clingy woman. Yes, she is. If you're the only woman or you're the only man that she want and, and you're the only man she talking to, that's some bullshit. I'm not clingy. And, and so it's, it's the same thing with men. If you're the only man that he can fuck and all this and that and the only woman he want, you're the only woman he can uh, fuck, right? And he want to be with only you and shit. There's going to be some clinginess to it. You know, but a lot of women feel like, I don't like a clingy man. Then they wonder why they get men that are fucking 10,000 other women. That's why he's not clingy at all, because he's dealing with multiple women. Come on, man. It don't make sense. If this was the only car you got, you're going to cling to this motherfucker. But if you got a 100 cars, you probably ain't, man, that motherfucker sitting over in the corner. I ain't drove that bit like this right here. I ain't drove this motherfucker since. I ain't drove this since I bought this, right? But what if that was my only car? I'd be all in, clinging to this motherfucker, man. But y'all not hearing me, though. You know what I'm saying? But hey, all I can say is about 95% of the world is rebounds. People not willing to cleanse themselves. They're not willing to wait and be patient and, 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 and go to themselves for a while. They don't do that. The first thing they do when they break up with somebody is try to fill that void with someone else and all this other bullshit. And it's not going to fill no damn void. It's just not. It's not the same. And then they end up back with their ex again because it's all about the void that they're trying to fill. It's really not about a boyfriend or girlfriend half the time. Even though they like benefits from the man or the woman and shit, it's really about filling the damn void. And you should be trying to fill that void with yourself first. You know what I'm saying? And through God, that's yourself, basically. Not saying you are God, but when you try to fill the void within yourself, God's going to be there. You know, you're closer to God, you know? Because you're getting that self-time, you're getting that self-reflection. But hey, man, I can't tell people what to do, man. You know, and this is why a lot of people don't leave toxic relationships, too. Because they scare, you know what I mean? They, you basically a rebound. Even, even if you've been with somebody five years, you still could be a rebound. What do I mean? They with you, they live with you and shit, but they really don't want you and shit. They looking at other women and wanting to fuck other women or looking at other men and wanting to deal with them and shit. Yeah, you there, but you just like a rebound. You're no different. You're actually probably worse because you're putting benefits into the person who really don't want you. That's even worse. At least like with a uh, just a casual rebound person, you really ain't got to put in the benefits, the energy like that. But still a rebound, no matter how you look at it. You know what I mean? So if a woman's talking to five guys and then she meets me, get gets my number and shit, she's, and I'm the sixth one, I'm just a rebound. From them guys that ain't fulfilling her. Because if if they if one of those guys fulfill her like that, she would just cut it. She wouldn't be gave me her number unless she's a player. Right. But we're not talking about female players or male players. So the guy wouldn't even be looking for another woman if you was the one that he likes. <laughs> Y'all not hearing me, man. I'm getting out of here, man, because I got to definitely go to sleep and eat and go to sleep. And, you know, it just never stops, man. It's like always doing something you know i like it but i hate it sometimes man like damn it is what it is though man i'd rather be busy than not doing nothing at all so this is what we do and i'm trying to retire earlier fuck all that shit you know what i mean 60 something still working and shit fuck that if i'm still working i'm working doing some shit i want to really be doing you know what i mean some easy shit some shit that 
I could pay people to do for it. You get what I'm saying? We already know what it is, but I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all have a good night, man. Uh, that's, all I'm, that's all I'm saying, man. Like, a lot of people, you're not their first choice and shit, and you're just a rebound, man. And I hate to say that. And it's not that you just a rebound. Like, that's w what your worth is. Your worth is being with somebody who think, who sees you as a king or queen. But when you're dealing with people who see you as a rebound, third, fourth, fifth place, and second place and all this shit, you're a rebound by default. If you're not their first choice, by default, you are a fucking rebound. By default. So even if you live with the man and shit, but he really, you don't look nothing like the woman he be lusting on or watching porn on or shit, and you don't look nothing like them, you're not really the one he really wanted. You just there so he can have somebody and shit, man. You know what I mean? And this happens with men a lot when it comes to women. That's why she don't sleep with you no more and none of this other shit. Some of them don't even sleep with you in the bed no more, let alone sex. Because you're not really what they want, man. Maybe you was at one point, but you're not now. Don't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe you was what he wanted at one point, but he was the type of guy to choose women off of looks and shit and the wrong shit. And now he don't really like you as the woman. So now he's looking this way and that way. You know what I'm saying? Because again, a lot of these men, they can't be alone either. So what they do is they looking for somebody to cook for them and this and that, you know, a rebound, basically, you know, somebody misses right now, not Mrs. Right, just something right now until I can finally find what I really want or whatever. And they might not ever get what they really want. You know, that might not ever happen. So everybody they deal with is not going to get the, the treatment that they deserve. They're going to get that subpar, you know, bullshit. That a lot of relationships have right now. And that's because a lot of relationships are not relationships of two people who really feel like both of these people, each other, should I say, are number one choices. They don't really feel that way. It's just that, ah, fuck it. Can't get nothing better than her. Ah, I'll deal with it. Can't get nothing better than him. I'll deal with it. And that's why you see a lot of these relationships on some bullshit. If two people come together and they think they the best. Like, this is the best. I ain't fucking this up. They gonna go hard for each other. Remember, both people feel this way. Come on, dog. That relationship is gonna be a good relationship. Because they feel like both people feel like this is the best. Not one. Both. Both. And that's rare. And it's rare because most people, when they meet people or get with people... They didn't even cleanse themselves from the people that they wanted. They still traumatized by that. Some of them have kids by that. That's woman or man. You know, there's a lot of shit going on. You know, people don't heal. They use other people to, to hide the pain. They still not healed. They're still not healed. And if you don't take time to yourself. To fall in love with yourself and love yourself and shit, you're not even gonna know what love is. To pick the pick love, should I say? That's number one. Number two, you're not gonna be happy with anybody you deal with, even if they love or not. It don't fucking matter. You're not gonna be satisfied with them because you haven't found the satisfaction within yourself first. That's the you have to find it within yourself first. If you go looking for it in other people and from other people, it's only gonna last so long. That hit, that dribbling hit or whatever you want to call it, dopamine or whatever, it's only going to last so long. But when it's within you and it's real, that's some forever shit. You can be just chilling in a car, happy as hell, you making a video like I am right now, you know? But if you don't find that inside happiness, you're not getting that because you're looking for it from other people and they will always fall short of the happy self-happiness that's with inside yourself once you find it. Everything and everybody else, blunts and everything, Blunts, people, whatever. That's always going to fall short. Basically, fall short of the God inside you. God inside of us, basically. If you really want. Because I can't take credit away from God. Because that's what it really is. Until you find that God inside of all of us. We're going to look for blunts and people and this and that. We're never going to be satisfied. It's never going to be enough. But what if you got that inside love. And then you got a girlfriend, a boyfriend. And this or that. A car, money or whatever. You know what I mean? good example a person could have billions of dollars but they don't have that 
within happiness, that shit ain't gonna mean nothing. But what if they had that within happiness and they had a billion dollars? Come on, man. See what I'm saying? It is what it is, y'all. You know, all I can say is um, this, and that's why a lot of people jump from person to person. You know, I don't need to keep explaining that shit. That's why they're doing it. You know, and and they don't have to do it. They just gotta find a happiness within. But you gotta be alone. There's gotta be some type of isolation in your life to find this. You know, you ain't gotta be like locked in a room by yourself for six months and don't speak to nobody type shit. But a lot of times, I feel like in life. We are forced to break up with people so we can reach that person. Because a lot of us been living with boyfriends and girlfriends for since 15 and shit like this. And you scared to be alone. And you ain't had time to yourself to really get to know yourself. You don't even know who you really are. You know? And sometimes having a boyfriend or girlfriend can stop that from happening. Unless you already found who you was and then you got with somebody. You know, but for younger people, that's probably not going to happen. You know, a lot of them younger people shouldn't even be having a girlfriend or boyfriend yet. You know, like, and if you do, man, you better be like taking that shit way slow. But, you know, they're not going to do that. And then they're going to ruin it. And then eventually they're going to get ruined. And then it's going to be harder to find love. It was easy then when you was younger, but now it's going to get harder. It's going to get worse because people are going to get people's hearts are going to be destroyed and black and now they want to be players and do people dirty and this and that you know what i mean they don't want to play by the rules no more because they played by the rules and got burned or they they lost when they played by the rules so now they don't want to play by the rules and they still going to lose because they doing people dirty and karma you know so either way you know what i'm saying you might as well just do what's right and if you do what's right and they shit on you don't worry about it your intentions was good karma got you I mean, karma got them too, but karma got you. When you do right, man, you can't lose. That's it, man. That's all I got to say, y'all. Uh, yeah, man. Um, don't be somebody's rebound. You know what I mean? And, and if you if you uh, are if you feel like you're somebody's rebound, just don't take them serious. But I wouldn't deal with them at all. But maybe you just want to just kick in and just kick it with people and shit like that. That's fine, I guess, if that's what you want to do. But understand who you are. Like, in other words, let's just say I'm just kicking it with a woman. I know she don't want a boyfriend or something. I need to understand that. You know what I mean? And and just keep it like that. And a lot of women need to understand that with the men. If you're going to deal with the player type men, understand where, where it really is. Like, you're not changing it. You know? I wouldn't advise it. But if you want to do it, then you better understand where you stand. You know, you're basically just a rebound, if you want to call it that. Because that's basically what it is. You're somebody after my rotate, or the, you're somebody added to the rotation, basically. You know, because the people in my rotation already, they wasn't good enough. So now I need another woman. This, think about it. If one of them was good enough, why are you still searching? You know what I mean? If somebody's good enough for you, why you got to keep looking? Don't make sense, do it. I know I wouldn't. I'm out of here, man.